first survivors of the attack shared their feelings about the verdict this afternoon. WMUR's Mike Cronin has their reaction. Many survivors and families are still healing from the horrific events of two years ago. For some, justice prevailed today, but for others, the burden will carry on possibly for years to come. The death sentence was nothing to celebrate for Boston Marathon bombing survivors and their families. But for some, it was the justice they wanted to see. He wanted to go to hell and he's going to get there early. I can tell you it feels like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. So I think there is some form of uh, a good feeling. Reaction was mixed. Some said the death penalty doesn't bring relief. Instead, it could mean many years of appeals. Karen Broussard of Epsom was injured two years ago. She said today felt different from last month's guilty verdict. I know that there's still a long road ahead. There is going to be many, many, many more dates ahead. But right now, it feels like we can take a breath. Though she's satisfied with the sentence, it's an uneasy feeling. There is nothing happy about having to take somebody's life. And I think with the death penalty, it could make it longer for them, where if it was life, it was done. Denise Bernard of Manchester, who was a spectator at the marathon, had a piece of shrapnel lodged in her side. She says the jury had to endure more than she did. I mean, they had to live through everybody's ordeal, listening to all the victims and survivors' families talk. And I was hit with shrapnel. They were, they almost felt and experienced the entire thing. Whether today brought closure or if it's just another step in the healing process, survivors hope they can move on. Once the verdict came in, it was like, okay, now we can, we can start from here and go forward and really feel like it's behind us. All of the victims and their families who spoke today thank the jury, prosecution, and everyone involved with reaching this verdict. Reporting live in the newsroom, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.